Hello there, friends and family. Welcome to Nanava's Kitchen. And if you are visiting for the first time, a very warm welcome to you as well. On the menu today is our oven grilled red snapper fish. And what I am offering to you in this recipe is to let the actual flavor of the fish shine. It's the star ingredient. We're going to use fresh ingredients and wonderful techniques to achieve that. So let's wash our hands and begin. Friends, first and foremost, I sharpen my knife and you'll find out why. Keep watching, please. I have a skillet over low heat and I'm going to extract some flavors into the oil. So I have a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil and I'm placing in three sprigs of fresh thyme. Three small slices of lemon rind or skin, ginger sliced up thinly or julienne, habanero chili with a slit to make for easy and quick extraction of its flavors. Three cloves of garlic also go in, followed by a quarter of a medium onion also sliced up. We shall cook on low heat for 12 minutes until all the flavors are extracted into the oil. See how easy it was to make the incisions with our sharpened knife? Yes, the fish is still together. No bruising occurred and we made incisions on both sides of the fish. 12 minutes later, our ingredients look nicely caramelized and the oil also looks like it has been infused perfectly with these wonderful ingredients. So we turn the heat off and let it cool down. Next, I remove the lemon rinds and the thyme and place it in the belly of the fish. The rest of the ingredients left in there that are also caramelized will be blended with some parsley and we'll use it later on. Keep watching and you'll see. Now I am drizzling the cool down infused oil onto the fish to begin the marinating process. I'm also going to season with some kosher salt and be generous with your salt. This is a big piece of fish. It's, it weighs a pound and a half. We want the salt to get into the head, into the belly, and also we are going to add crushed white pepper and it's a quarter teaspoonful off. We're going to massage all these flavors into the fish and let it sit for about 10 minutes before we actually um, oven grill it. There you go. Now the rest of the caramelized ingredients as I said get blended with some parsley and we are going to be using that to flavor up a bed of vegetables which our fish is going to be laying on while it cooks in the oven. So here's the blended ingredients and yes we just pour it all on there and add some salt and massage it or mix it up into the bed of vegetables. So I have a combination of red and green bell peppers, some onions, scallions, and leeks, an optional ingredient. I just had a whole lot left over from previously. So the fish gets laid on the bed of vegetables and it goes into the oven and we are going to cook at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Now, while that's happening, we're going to create a dressing like chimichurri sauce, which is going to be drizzled onto the fish once it's done cooking. It will also serve as a nice garnish. So I have the rest of the infused oil from the beginning. I have chopped a scallion into it. I chopped it finely and I also chopped uh, cilantro and cilantro is also known as uh, coriander leaves in certain parts of Europe. I have added uh, the juice of half a lemon and also added some kosher salt to it. Just mix it and set it aside so the fish is done cooking. Now 10 minutes later, uh, this side of the fish is done cooking so it's time to flip it. Now see why it is a good idea to use the bed of vegetables? Because while the fish is cooking, it releases some really wonderful and delicious juices. And if it was just laying on the sheet pan, those juices will dry out and become a big waste. But in this case, they um, those juices are actually released and they are caught into the bed of vegetables, which also release some steam that help to cook the fish sooner than later. And now at this point, the fish is done. It went back in after we flipped it for another 10 minutes. It cooked at 500 degrees Fahrenheit and see, there is no waste. 
there is no burnt juices that have gone to waste and that's exactly what we're going going for so now we are plating and you see this is a rustic presentation so yeah collect all the beautifully caramelized um, vegetables and place the fish on top of it and here goes our dressing or our chimichurri sauce now take a look at how flaky how juicy this fish is and let me tell you that lime juice it's better to put it on when the fish is done cooking because it's nice and still fresh and you get that citrus flavor it is just perfect and these vegetables were nicely seasoned I'm telling you you have to try this recipe I appreciate you all so much for watching make it a great day and have fun especially in that kitchen